name's Amy and I'm going to be presenting my poster on risk factors for UK plasmodium falciparum cases in 2007. So, the UK has one of the highest numbers of reported cases of malaria among all non-endemic areas, with approximately 1,500 cases attributable to plasmodium falciparum every year. Um, so, a lot of work has been done looking at people who stay longer when they're on holiday or visiting friends and relatives and people who experience high forces of infection because of where they travel and also people who adhere poorly to prophylaxis measures. So we understand that these are risk factors but nobody's really been able to disentangle the risk factors. So I have developed a model to adjust for the time spent away and the force of infection experience to expose an underlying risk. So the aim is to identify high risk groups. So data from the Malaria Reference Laboratory was provided um, to look at the cases. Um, so the initial thought is that our case is just a function of the number of travellers going to a certain area. So if you look at the map of the travellers, there's clearly no, there's no real relationship between these two. So another thought might be that maybe it's just the force of infection somebody experiences when they go away and it's that was causing the cases. So is there a relationship between here and here? So there is a more direct relationship than with here and here, but it's more likely to be a mixture of these two factors. So I developed an integral sense of proportional hazards model to adjust for the duration of stay and the force of infection experienced. Um, and owing to missing data, an expectation maximization algorithm was performed for parameter estimation. Um, so the two main risk groups that were identified were those who visit friends and relatives and business travellers. So they were compared to holiday makers. So the hazard ratio point estimate for those who visit friends and relatives was 8.2 and for business travellers it was 3.6. So then uh, the youngest age group, aged 0 to 15 years, were compared against all other age groups of travellers and it was shown that people aged 0 to 15 years have an increased risk of infection acquisition above any other age group. So what does this tell us? Basically it's telling us that those who go and visit friends and relatives are, it's not just that they stay longer, they experience a higher force of infection, it's that they have poor adherence to prophylaxis, they assume some kind of prior or partial immunity given previous exposure 20 years prior, um, which isn't helping them not acquire an infection. Um, business travellers are a high risk group because of their primary lack of awareness of infection acquisition and younger age children um, are potentially more susceptible to acquiring an infection generally and they're also unable to adhere to personal protective measures because partly of their age. So this analysis supports previous tools within the UK to target um, immigrant communities to encourage uptake and adherence to prophylaxis, um, as well as highlighting young children and business travellers.